Hello, beta testers. My name is Kyle, and in this video I'll be outlining 10 things Rocksteady needs to do to offset backlash surrounding battle passes in a cash shop in their premium game, pre-launch. Number 10. Show that your battle pass can be obtained with a currency that can be earned in-game. It also wouldn't hurt to give those players buying in at launch enough to buy their first battle pass as well as a couple of your skins. Number 9. Establish that fear of missing out, uh, commonly known as FOMO, is not an issue, and that your passes will permanently be available, and perhaps you can select whichever one you want to be active to get it done. Number 8. Provide information on whatever events you may be running in your game, how frequent they are, and whether or not they'll be rewarding the premium currency that you'll be charging people for skins and the battle pass. Genshin does this kind of thing, and Genshin's a free game, something that I'll be reminding you about as often as you'll be hearing the term Marvel's Avengers. In fact, Genshin's most sought-after currency, Primo Gems, can be awarded for anything from dailies, story mission completion, or... Uh, watching Genshin live streams and getting recodes every time. They just had an update and then they were just giving them away. Number seven, prove it. Oh, somebody reached out to Video Games Chronicle to say that your battle pass is going to be cosmetic only. Haven't heard that before. Crazy, I thought y'all had official channels that you could make an announcement on. Prove it. I'm afraid I'm not paid enough to shill everything, especially out-of-touch trend chases like a battle pass and a premium game. But rest assured, Rocksteady, you will not drown out people as versed or articulate as I am in an industry that has not stood still in the eight years since your last release. Try us. Number six, gameplay. Not CGI, not cutscenes, not heavily edited gameplay. Pretend that you have one person with their ear to the ground that isn't posing for dick suck images in their fucking thumbnails. Can I say that on YouTube? Like, I give a shit. You need to sell your game. Because just like Marvel's Avengers did, you're turning people off. You're rubbing them the wrong way, and a quick glance around the gaming landscape would show you how many are being rubbed the right way. And for free, I might add, they are earning that money. The more time passes without unedited gameplay, the more people are right in associating you Rocksteady with cesspool dynamic steaming coil of bullshit. It wouldn't be unreasonable to assume you're hiding something the same way Gotham Knights did with their struggle to maintain 20 FPS, hold Q&A sessions in their echo chamber discord where they deliberately dodge questions specifically pertaining to the frame rate because they were trying to trick people into buying and finally forced to confirm after reviewers have leaked the information that only 30 FPS is available days out from launch. I guess we have confirmation. WB Montreal, you get what you all only a week before launch and only sharing this information via Discord in a sort of very low key way. Remember when yet another one of Crystal Dynamics game breaking patches hit Marvel's Avengers and it exposed people's IP addresses by displaying them on screen? They didn't want to say anything about that. That might affect sales. So they kept it hush hush. A string of texts they tweeted. Number five, survive. I'm kidding. Uh, communicate. Shills and Echo Chamber Discord, heavily moderated subreddits, and Twitter are not your fucking game's exclusive audience, alright? Avengers, Gotham Knights, and Halo are ripe with examples of why buying positive PR and sponsoring streamers will not be enough to save your game. Did you know Warzone, the Call of Duty property that's been dick riding Fortnite's success, has dropped 73% in players due to a multitude of issues that I'd never pretend is any specific one thing. But good faith? Nah, that's not something that Infinity Ward has, homie. They be ignoring everybody's feedback. Do you think there's a problem that you need right now? No. And it leads into number four. Be self-aware. In case you're curious about how much your game is currently being associated with Marvel's Avengers, I took the time to look up videos by what I consider the biggest normies on the planet within the past day and this is what i cut together enjoy the avengers the avengers the avengers the avengers marvel's avengers 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 marvel's avengers marvel's avengers avengers
I mean, it uh, always Avengers. <laughs> the Avengers. <laughs> Avengers. 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 You get it, right? I plan to suffer through this, but I've tortured myself enough talking about Marvel's Avengers today, right? Am I implying that these soy-soaked, Starbucks-sipping, studio-sitting Kamala Khan lovers are indicative of the average gamer? I love how they uh, did Kamala Khan and made her the, the main character, essentially. Hell no. These types cheer for whatever you pay them to cheer for. And Rocksteady, if you reinforce the divide between these super fan shills and the average gamer, you will deserve every bit of money and interest you lose. Crystal Dynamics, in their infinite insanity, tried to convince people that Kate Bishop was a fan favorite and thus deserving of the first DLC character drop, when they weren't busy telling lies and using a black man's death to stall for time with content that they didn't have finished. They constantly nerfed XP, sold XP boosters, and used Chadwick Boseman's death to their benefit. And now, Kevin Conroy is dead. Our Batman is dead. And this is what y'all doing? You got normies out here drawing comparisons to the flop you're following in the ugly footsteps of? I'm overjoyed to see how long you take to course correct. And please forgive the passion. Some of us have trouble keeping our voice down when there's an iceberg dead ahead and all the screaming that we're doing doesn't seem to, you know, uh, fuck me, right? Number three, make Batman a playable character. This ain't a joke. It's not a meme. You should roll all those lines into a playable character for Batman. While you're at it, allow Red Hood, Nightwing, Batgirl. We can all collectively pretend that Gotham Knights didn't happen. Do it. You know, doesn't have to be at launch. Make it happen. Number two, make Harley pretty. Allow girls, feminine walk animations, uh, you know, don't be less than what you were eight years ago. Don't be worse than free-to-play offerings. This is not modded Fortnite. This is not modded Genshin Impact. You're less sexy than Fortnite. That's what you want to be. You want to be less sexy than Gotham Knights. If Spider-Man 2 so much as drops a trailer, your whole game's smoked. Can you imagine? If Harley looked the way that she used to, I wouldn't be asking, what are you even going to put on a battle pass? My top question would be, when is Poison Ivy going to be playable? We get it, Rocksteady. Insecure and out-of-touch CW lovers in your studio think blood and people exploding is cool, but sexy women? The male gays! We have a word for this, Rocksteady. And it's woke. A word that pairs finally with greedy. GTA 5 came out 10 years ago. Yes, they have feminine walk animations. GTA 6 leaked and showed us some juicy stuff. But remember how Saints Row Reboot flopped? They reduced chest sizes, removed jiggle physics, removed feminine walks. A bunch of things were wrong with that game. But it was woke. <laughs> the woke hypocrisy of scantily clad men being fine, but women being bad is so dated. And I, I'm so excited to see Ivy in your game. And I'm trying to shut up until then, all right? You could prove me wrong. I want to be proven wrong. Number one, distance yourself from Marvel's Avengers. When? It, 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 get a time machine and go back in time. You know what I mean? Show that you have variety. Uh, show that it's not the same monsters. It's not the same locations. Show how the crafting works. Show that you can re-roll gear. Show your loadouts. Show the things that that thing wish that it had and that it's going to be separate. I was one of the single critical voices in recognizing the shortcomings, wrongdoings, and genuinely petty, lazy, and soy-soaked behavior of the jizz-covered rags employed at Crystal Dynamics, but I dutifully and articulately chronicled the endless failures of this disaster that Marvel's Avengers just mixed up, man. And I'd, oh man, I'd do it again. I'd do it again. Because the hope is that stuff like this stops happening. I'm, I'm hopeful that you knock it out of the park and you're a live service like the world's never seen. The true destiny killer that everyone's been talking about for years. But man, you got to look in a mirror right now. These are some of the worst optics you could imagine. And I have a bunch of saved just sentiments from people on forums that you'd never go to on, on, on boards and, and it's, 
a light switch. They were interested. They're not now. Do something about it. If you've listened this far, thank you. I love you. Like light, I'm sorry. Like